Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day. And I try things so you don't have to. I don't know what's so funny. Today I am over at KFC to try their KFC Famous Bowl $5 fill-up box. Let us go to the clipboard fluff. First of all, the KFC Famous Bowl $5 fill-up box consists of the Famous Bowl, a medium drink, and a chocolate chip cookie. If you're not familiar, familiar with the bowl, it is creamy mashed potatoes, sweet corn, and bite-sized chunks of crispy chicken all layered together, then drizzled with home-style gravy and topped with a perfect blend of three shredded cheeses. Now, I am OCD a little bit here and there, and I'm one of those people who, if you have multiple things on my plate, I don't want them touching. I want them separate. So having chicken and mashed potatoes and corn and gravy and cheese all together is like an OCD nightmare for me. But I will rough it and I will deal with it and I will survive. I've got my handy dandy little steering wheel tray. Place that under there and there it is. This has a good amount of weight to it. Let's see what's inside. There is the biscuit, the extra biscuit that I got in order to get the $5 fillet bowl free. Got the napkins, thank you very much. There's the damage. The cookie is in here. Butter, honey, and a spork. And the bowl itself, there it is. That is a good sized bowl and that took up most of the weight inside that bag that it's heavy let's look inside Ooh, wow that's a lot and there is my medium drink also i got something called a misty misty lemon it's a lemon lime type thing it looks like sprite smells like sprite let's give this a shot first doesn't taste like sprite has more of a more of a lemon flavor it's like it's almost like i'm drinking sweet lemon juice like they they threw some sugar into some lemon juice or something like that i'll stick with sprite all right so a lot of cheese look at all the cheese coming off of there and a lot of corn and good size chunks of chicken. I'm trying to get that out without <laughs> tipping it all over the place. There you go. There's a piece of chicken for you. And it's made up mostly of corn and mashed potatoes. Interesting. Okay, I was able to find a decent sized piece of chicken that's not too big to fit entirely in my mouth. And I've got cheese and I've got corn and I've got mashed potatoes right there. Let's give it a shot. And it's just swimming in that nice brown gravy that they put on their mashed potatoes. I love this stuff. They were not sparse on the gravy. Let's give it another shot. I like this a lot. The If you've had KFC, you know the elements. The mashed potatoes are creamy and nice. The gravy is wonderful. Just that wonderful potatoes and gravy gravy <laughs> the the corn has nice uh, a nice little bite to it um, I mean a good texture not a bite it's not heat but it has good texture to it it snaps in your teeth snaps in your mouth I guess the chicken is tender um, it's not overly KFC herbed and spiced right it has got that flavor a little bit. I think probably everything else kind of hides it, but it has got a nice flavor to it and it is tender. And I'm happy to report I'm not having an OCD freak out. This is a lot of food. They were not skimpy on anything, not stingy on anything. Everything is represented in here and a good amount of it. And having this in a $5 fillet meal is a really good deal because Individually, I, I, I'm not sure, but I would guess this would be probably 
450 around there by itself. And this is a nice little container that you could probably keep. Just go ahead and wash this up and use it to microwave stuff or use it to pack it for a lunch or backpacking or picnic or something like that. That's a nice little extra. And now for the cookie. The cookies, when, when places put cookies into their meals, to me, cookies are throwaway items. I would much rather have, um, not in this case, but I would usually rather have an individual uh, mashed potatoes or an individual coleslaw. I mean, back when I used to go to KFC, when I was a tad, they had the chicken, you would get mashed potatoes and gravy, you would get coleslaw and a biscuit. Now you usually get either or, the coleslaw or the uh, mashed potatoes and the gravy, but not both. And so I think they just kind of started throwing cookies in, and to, like I said, to me they're throwaway items. You may like them, but to me they're just kind of filler. There's the cookie. It looks nice. Chocolate chip cookie right there. Chips all over inside. Let's give it a shot. So it's along the lines of a home-baked cookie. It's not like a crispy cookie, one of the crunchy cookies that, that break in your teeth or something like that. But this is more of a, a softer type of cookie and a good amount of chips inside. So for a throwaway item, this was pretty good. The damage on the KFC Famous Bowl $5 fillet meal was five bucks. Who'd have thunk it? So for a $5 fillet meal for everything you get here, this is a really good deal. On the Nerdometer, I would give the KFC Famous Bowl, I would give this a high I like it. It is good. It Everything's represented, lots of stuff. Everything's well done. It's very tasty and very filling. Even though it didn't come with the $5 fillet meal, let's go ahead and give that biscuit a try. Look at that. There's that nice fresh baked biscuit of theirs. Buttery, fluffy, not too bad definitely need the butter and the honey on here or jam or whatever you want these are not as good as Popeye's biscuits or Church's chickens biscuits or um, Red Lobster's biscuits oh I love those but it's pretty good biscuit nice flavor to it but of course I want to hear from you what is your favorite five dollar fillet meal from KFC and have you ever had the famous bowl and what did you think of it Go ahead and leave that in the comments. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, quick, click that little bell icon so YouTube will supposedly let you know when I put out videos because, you know, YouTube hates us all. You can catch me on my social networks. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Old Nerd Reviews all around. On the website, oldnerdreviews.com. Don't worry about remembering it all. It's all down in the diddly do the, the little description down there you guys have a freaking awesome day and i'll talk to you again bye now